We're working developing news right now on a local mother convicted of killing her daughter. Kimberly Mawson is expected to be released from the ACI any time now as the judge considers a motion for a new trial. Let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler. He's live outside the ACI with the very latest. Stephen? Well, corrections officials tell us Mawson could walk through these gates later this afternoon. A judge granted her bail yesterday after new evidence surfaced that could implicate someone else in her daughter's death. An emotional Kimberly Mawson tears up in court moments before she's taken away to the ACI to serve a 35-year sentence. The Connecticut mother was convicted of viciously killing her 19-year-old daughter, Jade, back in 2007. But new information in the case could now set her free. Did you kick baby Jade's head? No, no. The new evidence centers around this man, Mawson's ex-boyfriend, Daniel Fusco, whose attorney says admitted causing Jade's death. She didn't do this. Mawson supporters defended her after sentencing, saying she could never have killed her own daughter. I've known Kimberly for 12 years. I've, I've, I've been married to her for six months. We were engaged to be married about eight years ago. The one thing she wanted more than anything in this world was a child. Mawson's husband tells Eyewitness News he's happy his wife could return home soon, but the focus remains finding justice for Jade. Now, Mawson will have to come up with $10,000 cash, bail, and complete some paperwork before her release. No date has been set yet for a new trial. Live outside the ACI in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.